good morning it is a lovely sunny September day and myself and Mark myself and Mark have decided to come out and have a bit of a like autumn day haven't we yeah but it's really hot and I'm regretting wearing this jumper I know it's I've got to be fair I've got shorts on I've gone for like an autumn-y outfit but with shorts because the sun is out thanks love what did you say I said you look pretty great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I was like, thanks. What did you say? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going out. Mark's driving again. I promise I haven't been banned. No. <laughs> I can't drive. He just offered. And yeah. I was like, go on in. And I don't think you've ever driven us this this little route. No, I haven't. Um, we're going to do our classic <gasps> garden. What? Is that it? Pumpkin patch? No. Oh. That one's not. But oh, God. I think you go ahead. There's one roundabout where you've got to turn and go back on yourself. Okay, just let me know. Oh, it's hot, isn't it? Boiling. It started off so like rainy and like misty, and now the sun's out. But it's a beautiful day. It didn't stop raining yesterday, did it? It poured it down. Mark came around yesterday, and we had like oh. a sofa day, and it was so amazing. Considering I had a migraine all day, it was probably the only thing that I could probably muster. It was um, great. Thank I had a good night's sleep and I don't have it today but I have like the remnants I feel like people that get migraines will know what I mean where you still just feel a bit like off balance but your head doesn't hurt so that's good we're gonna do the garden center have our traditional pizza and we're gonna do the um, pick your own and see if they've got their pumpkins out because last year we went where did we go we went early yeah I, I swear we went me and Mark went early to the pick your own like weirdly early because we were like it's getting first it's getting yeah oh it doesn't look like it's open oh yeah it is open okay so you want to get into the right hand lane and then at the next roundabout go all the way round and back on yourself okay. so considering we thought we were early last year we've decided to go even earlier this year because they had no pumpkins left when we went last year which was really sad um I think it was just not a good year for the old pumpkins no, it must have been that. It was weird, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's so like little... weird. But yeah, we're going to have a little look and see what we've got. I'm aware it's kind of early, but last year, what? I don't... Honestly. Oh, it's hard, it's hard. Stick last year, I don't feel like I made the most of the autumn months. I'm not going to lie. I went too quick. I think we were holding on to summer a lot last year. Yeah, and this year, I'm just like, I just want to embrace it. So it's in here, love, where it says open. Open sesame. Oh, since... Oceans. Oh wait. Oceans. Oceans. I love ocean oceans. Oceans and oceans. Oh, little tea room. Little tea room. So they could have no pumpkins, but we're gonna have a look. This is the round stone. Pick your own. We're also gonna go at some point to the Tully's pick your own too because that was incredible. Am I actually driving here, sorry? Yeah, so you can park up next to that white vehicle. The white vehicle. Right, we're here. Payment, oh. cash, and check. I've got cash. Have you got cash? I've got cash. I've got cash. Buzzing. 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 Let's go. Oh, there's loads of like cute old people. Oh, should we befriend them? Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> and they do have pumpkins. So the earlier the better, I think, is the motto. So these are the blue ones. Oh, look. The little like, um, they call them like the zombie ones. Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh, that one's been cracked. Oh no, little cracked one. Oh, look at that perfect, perfect one. Found one. That's cute. I love him. Ow. Careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, came off. oh, it's okay. I'll follow that one. Okay, guys. This ah. is definitely the time to come to Roundstone. If you're going to come to Roundstone, pick your own. Come like now <laughs> because there's so many good ones. You got it. Spiky. <gasps> oh, that could have hurt if that landed on your foot. Look at this. All across the field. Baby. 
Okay. So I'm gonna, I don't know which ones to take. I think I like this little guy. They are so perfect. Aren't they? He's so cute, but then maybe this one actually, do you think? The, the trusty one you've been sitting on. Yeah, yeah. I like him. Ugh. <sighs> Yay! The thing is, I don't actually know what I want these for at the moment. I mean, you can't really go wrong. That one. Oh, cute! That's a nice one. That. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. I think they're just good to have around, you know? Start decorating the house, oh. make some pumpkin soup. Not that I actually like pumpkin soup. I like pumpkin spice baking, but not like pumpkin soup. Although saying that, I'm not sure the last time I ever ate any pumpkin soup, to be honest. Do you like pumpkin soup? Love it. I love all soups. Do you? I've got some soup in the fridge, I'm going to add that later. Oh, nice. Lovely bit of soup. Tell you what, this pumpkin picking malarkey, we do this every year, gets warm. I'm thirsty. Thirsty work. Oh, yeah, good shout. Um, so, yeah, we're going to pop some pumpkins in the wheelbarrow and head back. I think, yeah, initially, because it's still very early in the season. Um, I'm probably just going to use these for a couple of um, like photo shoots etc that we've got coming up. Um, but besides that, I mean I don't know how long these will last. Will these last till Halloween? I'm not sure. Maybe if you keep them in a cool dry place. These squashes are my absolute fave. I love them. I don't know if I almost love these more than the pumpkins, I'm not going to lie. Like little peppers. Yeah. Let's get you. Look at him. Mm. I love them. Concentrating so much. Why? Does it feel wobbly? Really, really wobbly. <laughs> Back to the car with all the pumpkins. See ya. <laughs> they just very kindly gifted us the pumpkins. Oh, we took them up to pay and they were like, and she was like, no, don't please don't pay. Um, so loads of people come here because of you guys, so take them. We were like, oh, thank you. You're not going to want to put muddy pumpkins in your boot, are you? That. What's this? Could you put it on that tarpaulin? That is so lovely of them. Oh, there's a little tiny one under there. <laughs> is there? Yeah. Bye. She's about to do a three hour shift, pay for them pumpkins. <laughs> I love that this is our tradition. I know. <laughs> like two old friends, we go, we go out, we pick pumpkins, and then we come to Haskins and we get our pizzas. We'll be doing this until we're like, at least 30. Oh, and that's a long while for you, isn't it? <laughs> Next year for me, but ages for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> another 10 years. We were a bit worried they might not still be doing pizza because we never usually come this late. Yeah. And they are. Oh, I, I think, think it's know. just the hot, um, the stuff in the hot plates that they don't still leave out. Yeah. Like the roast dinners and stuff. We should come here for a carvery. Yeah, we should go to more roast dinners. Yeah, we should. Well, roast dinner season is upon us Ferris we need to do it we need to find the best roast dinner in Sussex yeah and we need to make our own roast dinner mm, yes I love anything like with like chutney you have chutney with your roast dinner yeah, like do you chutney like onion like, chutney yeah with like parsnips and potatoes oh okay chutney with anything. Um, if anyone is in the Sussex area East or west, kind of around Brighton ideally. I don't really want to drive like an hour to go for a roast, or if it's a good one, maybe I would. Let me know in the comments if you know a place that does the most epic roasts. Yeah. What do you get at a roast? What, like meat? Um, I get- Thought you broke then. Oh no, sorry, I was just reading like something. <laughs> um, so I get all the meats, I love meat. All of them? Yeah, as much yeah. meat as I can get. I like parsnips. Potatoes, roast potatoes, like burnt potatoes. Yeah. Mushy peas, mint sauce. Sorry, reverse? Mushy peas. Yeah. 
Okay. I like so you've mixed like your fish and chips with your roast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm like mushy like peas pudding, mushy peas, uh, mint sauce, chutney, um, maybe some crackling. I love some crackling. Bit of crack. Love cracking meat. <laughs> <laughs> and I also love um, what's it called? Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love Brussels I'm a big sprouts. Fan. Do you like red cabbage? You know, like the spicy yeah. like, red cabbage. Like, mm. I'm thinking of it now. I've got watery mouth. Mmm. Yeah. Okay. So let us know where's a good place to get roast and what you have with your roast mm. because see, I'm a bit weird. I like mashed potato with mine. Just because I love mash a lot. Oh my god. Yeah, I was I'm worried when she gave this. Looks like blood. We've got these um Costa slushies. I don't get brain freeze. I get like, chest freeze. Do you? You get brain. Worst brain. Mmm. Anyway, I'll let you know when pizza arrives. Here he comes. <laughs> Do they look good? Look how special yours looks. <gasps> Wowza. Guys, oh, I can't even tell my you. my god, these pizzas are so good. These are the best pizzas you ever, ever have in your life. I sometimes just crave this exact pizza. Yeah. It's like cheers, Italy. mate. Cheers, sweetheart. Cheers, cheers, pizza. Ching, ching. <laughs> ching, ching. Cock. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> See, guys, you all think you're so lovely to me. Did you just hear what he called me when he thought the camera wasn't on? <laughs> a little cock. <laughs> Boy, less of that language. When, you know me. Did you get a basket? Um, I had like three pieces of pizza that I could not eat, so we put it back in the car in a box, but now we're going to ultimately have a proper look around. Straight to the fragrance. It's just my jam. <laughs> Do they have any autumnal ones? These look autumnal. Oh my God. Warm woods, fireside, redwood, sandalwood, and clove. Autumn harvest, cozy cabin. It smells like <gasps> angel. Angel looks perfect. Yeah. Oh my God, it does. Thierry Mugler. My mum used to wear that. I quite like these ones. Oh, that smells lovely. Guys, I am obsessed with the Kath Kids and Christmas stuff. Look how cute this tin is and how like Christmassy and adorable all their Christmas stuff is. And then look, I'm getting this. You know I love a hedgehog. I also love the size of this little pouch because it's perfect for like handbags. And in it you get a little hand cream and a little hand sanitizer. So cute. It's going straight in my basket. We've now come into Hobbycraft. They've got all their Halloween shiz. Look at this hand. Help. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at all these. I love these. I want this for my birthday party. We're on our way home. As you can see, I may have treated myself to an autumnal silk bouquet <laughs> of Maya. flowers um, just back here. I had to take a work call in the garden centre, which they must have heard the weirdest noises because every now and then there was like a dog squeak from Mark. Oh, there! And then he nearly he went like that to flip a candle lid off a candle and he nearly flew in the face of like Doris and Maureen out on their afternoon <laughs> together. I that know. was so funny. I was like, Oh God. They thought it was funny, didn't they? Yeah, they loved it. What yeah. lane? Uh, this lane's fine. Oh, I think old people love me. Oh, of course. Yeah. Like, they love me. They love a bit of Mark. And while I was on the phone, um, I basically just picked out a load of stems to make the ultimate autumn bouquet. Because I was thinking today, we put on some of our old videos where we were both like, we look. Oh. You look fine. No, I actually don't. You do I look think slimmer. I look awful. Live, love, laugh. Oh God. Um, <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet there's scary no, an innocent child in that house. <laughs> no offense to anyone who loves that quote, but it's awful. We just both were watching it, just like dying of what we look like. Yeah. But I had an autumn bouquet in the kitchen, and I was like, "Oh, that looks lovely." Dang, that looks. Good. Dang, I need to like step up my autumn bouquets this year and like treat myself to like a bouquet of flowers like every two weeks or something yeah because i never do that treat yourself i would love for someone to buy me flowers oh, I should have bought you flowers. 
Also, who decided it was bouquet and not bucket? <laughs> Boquet. <laughs> Boquet, bucket, or bouquet? Champagne. <laughs> That's how I remember how to spell champagne. Same. Champagne. An elephant. Oh There's no. There's another one. <laughs> Meringue, meringue, it's meringue. <laughs> <laughs> meringue. And your Did you just say what? Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> your coach. Oh! oh! You kept someone smoking weed. I know. Tinks. Blimey. Um, what is it? Your coach. Yo's my Yosemite. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'm going to invest a little bit more money in a forever silk flower bouquet. So I did that. Yeah, spray them. <gasps> I could spray them with my pumpkin mist. Um, that's what I Although do. Although I'm, I'm a bit worried because if you spray an oil based mist on silk flowers, it will probably stain them. Really? Maybe like a room spray? Yeah, from far away. Yeah. Oh, got hiccups. Uh oh. Surprise! Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, you actually... You're welcome. I either then thought I'm gonna shit, piss or vomit, but I think it got rid of my hands. Shit, piss, vomit. That worked! Yay! Lollipops! All, All free today! today. <laughs> Name that film! Ice cream, lollipops, all free today! I hate him and her. So one of my friends, that's like, growing up, was her biggest fear was that guy. So, so, so naturally, I would always find pictures of him. <laughs> to make her square. Well, we were saying in Mark's vlog that me and Mark are, we think, slightly psychopathic because we enjoy scaring people. But you'll have to go over and watch Mark's vlog to see the entire context of that. <laughs> if he leaves it in. I mean, we talked about it for ages. Yeah. But I just, I do think that that's a side of our personality that's like questionable. <laughs> yeah, like we're theatrical, aren't we? We love Halloween. We love. We horror. love the theatrics. We love the theatrics. We like to make people shit themselves. <laughs> we're jazz hands. Alfie always scares me, but as a general person, he doesn't go around scaring people. No, he doesn't. That's not. He, he'll just do that because. But also, Alfie's different when he scares people. He doesn't just do like jump scares. He, he sets does, the like, scene. He sets a scene, but then you do. And that was my fun time. That was my. That was... Are you okay? No. <laughs> Car behind is right up my fanny. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Me and Mark watched Supermarket Sweep last night. New series of Ryland. So good. I feel like the longer he does it, oh the more God, comfortable it is. Oh my God, you bought one of the jumpers on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pink team. Um, I love Ryland. But He's no, it was, like yesterday was like the perfect, we didn't move all day. I know, I loved it. I just need that. I honestly don't think I could have though, I'm not gonna lie. True. I didn't feel like I had to get up. We laughed, we cried. You had a sleep. I did. Had... Well, I mean, when don't I? Yeah. <laughs> you love your little sleeps, don't you? Yeah. Two things I'm not gonna get upset about anymore. Relationships as a whole. Yeah. Like including friendships who are a bit muggy, but I'm, I'm cleared of all that now. And my career, stop doubting my abilities. I'm not going to get upset about it anymore. I think everyone does that every now and then. Yeah. Imposter syndrome. Because we're in quite a creative industry that is very competitive and is very like, you know, like this, subscribe to this, did you watch this that I did? Like, you're constantly asking people to give back. Yeah. In some capacity. If you feel like other people are doing it better than you, you just feel so rubbish. Yeah, and you're like, like oh, more so than like than anything else. I've like especially more so than anything else I've ever done. I remember feeling it a little bit when I did sixth form because I did such creative subjects. I did photography, art, and textiles. Yeah. I would constantly compare my work to everybody else's and be like, mine's not as good as hers. So then I may as well not bother. Yeah. I just used to feel like that. I used to be like that the first six months of our friendship. I used to go back and check. 
Check what? I used to go back and check, like, just before I'd knock on your door, I'd just double check the DM just to make sure I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've never told you this. But, like, for the first six months, I was like, why does she want to be friends with me? Oh my! No, I know. It's really embarrassing. That's so sad. <laughs> I know. I got over it really quickly. I used to think, why does he want to be friends with me? No, you I'm back didn't. Shit. No, you didn't. But I, for, for ages, I like I always just double check before I knocked on your door just to make sure that like, you definitely did invite me over. <laughs> oh I know. God. Were you expecting me to answer the door and be like, hi? Yeah, who are you? No, you found some house, please. No, <laughs> back off, bitch. I'm nah, but like, because like that's how quick my because my world changed so quickly. I had to constantly be like, am I sure I'm okay here? Oh. Yeah, but. But then we had our little joke. What joke? <laughs> the joke that um, that you were paid by a. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my we, god! I feel like we're part. We're, we don't make the joke anymore because we're like past the point. Oh my! I could literally like we remember, both could. I can't remember why that kept that happened. Oh my god! I, we used to joke about that all the time. That I, I was like a journalist, undercover journalist who. So we used to pretend. I can't remember how it started. Yeah, I think someone must have commented something. No, I think it was something I said once, or you said, and then we both laughed. And I was like, "Oh my god, is that because I can't remember?" But it was like we used to. I used to joke to Mark like, "Oh, but when these six months are up, like in six months' time." you're not going to be my friend anymore and, and then you're going to admit that you've been paid by a like, like a mag or something a magazine to become my friend for six months and get all the goss yeah <laughs> i think I, it's we used to just loll about it and then it'd be like oh it's been a year yeah Blimey, it must be a big paycheck <laughs> i know i think it's because like straight away you told me about your new house I was very open with very, you. Very, and I was very oh, open with you. Oh, that's why. It you, must have been you that. You said, why do you, you, this is. Yeah. We were chatting and Mark said, why do you trust me? Yeah. That is how it started. Yeah. And I said, because A, you've given me absolutely no reason not to trust you. And B, like, I just get on, I'm, I'm a very open person yeah. with people. I don't hold back. That was it. And then I was like, why shouldn't I trust you? And then we made up the joke. That's yeah. it. Because I'd only been friends with you like a few months and you always told me about your it new was, house. I, it was such like, a cute moment. You're just like, why do you trust me? Yeah, I like, know. you've literally known me like a month. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. I just knew I could. See, good judge of character. Feel it in your water. Yeah. <laughs> and I could literally tell you, I honestly think I could, I could tell Mark. There is nothing I wouldn't tell you. I mean, we were both. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there is nothing off limits to you. Nah, that's good, same. Yeah. Games. Is, is Do you know what I might do? I might have a bath. I, and I tell you what, I'm going to read in the bath as well. Oh my God, you're going to finish the book? I'm going to finish the book in the bath. Let me know what you think. Let you know what you think. Let you know, let you know what I think. Let you know what do you think you know. And then have a nice glass of red. Another thing that I bought whilst I was mooching around was this, because Buzz has a flat bed like this and Nala loves it, especially in winter in front of the fire. And it's got little sheep on one side. All right, Bubba. Uh, so I just thought I'd put it down and see if she likes it. <gasps> it's your own little bed. <laughs> Do you love it? It doesn't have any other doggy smells on, so. No point looking for them. Do you like it? We'll know for sure when it gets the evening whether she's on this or on that. Do you like it? Yeah? That's your special little present. Take the tags off. What brand is it? I guess for any of you that want to know. A uh, pet face, I think. <laughs> Nala, don't eat it. <laughs> Look, keep doing it. Watch her. <laughs> I love it when she's like this. 
She can't handle the emotions. No, that's my sock. The emotion. No, that's the, that's my sock. No. Ooh. Nala. Oh. <laughs> Looks like someone's had a big poo of pumpkins. Oh. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, Goodbye my, my friend. friend. You have been the one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sign me up. Sign Did me. I say? Oh, I did send you all the pictures of you no, eating. You didn't. Do you want me to quickly do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Text me when you get back. Okay, Have a nice bye. bath. Bye. bye. So I thought I would just quickly show you a couple of the things I picked up at the garden centre. I've got a lot of seeds because I want to grow poppies and wildflowers in the garden. Now, I don't know how many of these I might have to start growing inside, so I'm gonna do some like proper research, but I know that these ones you can just sprinkle directly onto the garden because it says so directly into your garden. And these are just your classic red poppies. So I got two sachets of those. I then got these ones, which are the fruit punch poppies. <laughs> I've, I tell you now guys, when I become obsessed with something, I really become obsessed with it. Um, I got these ones which are the Copper Swirl Californian Poppies, which say easy, grow and hardy annually, which is what I like to hear. And then I got these which are like mixed wildflowers. Um, so I got this one which says Meadowland, this one which says Wildflower Mixed, then we've got Cornfield Mixture. Was I supposed to know what kind of ground? Hmm, I don't know. They just all looked really pretty. And then I got a honeybee mix and a Mediterranean mix, which just looks so pretty. So, yeah. <laughs> Sow some seeds at some point. Um, but I think these need to go in like now directly plant outside in September, October. So yeah, those need to go outside now. Um, okay, these need to be planted in March. <laughs> these can go outside now. And these ones, these ones, not those ones. And these ones can, okay. So there's only two of them. The honeybee mix has to go in in March, as do the Mediterranean mix, as do the Californian poppies. So I'm glad I checked. We'll keep, keep those in two separate piles. And then I bought this because this just screams autumn to me. And it also just looked so beautiful. It's by Laura Mason and it's the National Trust Book of Crumbles. Because who doesn't love a good crumble? There is like every type of crumble in here. Um, and some of them just have like really cute illustrations on the page. Um, so yeah, I just, I kind of thought it would be nice to make a lot of crumble. And then I also picked up this. This is a Kew Gardens book and it says growing houseplants. I'm certainly no expert in houseplants, but I flicked through this and I really liked that each plant had a page about the plant, what it's called, where it's from, its origins, how to grow it, where's best to grow it, what it needs, and what it's called, because quite a lot of the time, I pick up house plants in garden centers that I just think look really cool, and I don't know an awful lot about them, and I just want to make sure that I'm semi trying to put them where they need to be basically. I'm very happy with that. Oh, I just bought one of those. Also bought one of these from the garden center. And this is a prayer plant. So that's those bits. Oh, and then this was my bouquet. So yeah, I did go quite big. <laughs> Obviously I haven't styled it, but look how beautiful. I tried to get a really pretty mixture of like autumn leaves. Look at this one, it's got like autumn berries on it. Um, and then some greenery, these beautiful like orange roses, white berries. I think I'm just gonna throw all of these into one big vase. Obviously style it up a little better than this. 
but some I got two, some I got three. I feel like three is your overall rule of thumb, like three of each. Uh, but I think some I just got two of. I think this I just got one of actually, this like very autumn leaf bit here. Um, but yeah, look how pretty that is. So I need to find a nice vase for that. And um, then we went into Hobbycraft and I have plans to do a lot of autumn baking this year because that is one thing I did not do enough of and I was annoyed at myself. So I have these visions of a very amazing autumn cake. I bought some more um, cake boards because I've run out and I quite liked that these were black. It looks very chic as opposed to the kind of metallic silver ones I usually get. I bought this which is by Ginger Ray and it's a rustic wooden slice, artificial wooden slice. So it's not real wood, I don't believe. <laughs> um, so how cool would an autumn cake look on that, I thought. And then I used to have tools like this and I, I mean, I might still have them somewhere, but modeling tools for, um, ready to roll icing because I want to make tiny little pumpkins so I got the ready to roll icing um, in orange oh it's a bit melty um, in green for the stalks and in orange just so I can make some little like squashes or gourds or whatever whatever you call them then I bought these these are fun colors gel food color set I've never used this brand um, it's fun cakes and you get eight so I couldn't tell you if they're decent quality or whether you can taste them because I've not tried them yet, but um, I think they were around £20 for eight. So I'm thinking these might be good. The reason I quite like the look of these is because it's a squeezy tube of gel rather than, I've got quite a lot of the pots where you sort of pick out um, the gel and it's quite thick. Um, so I thought these might be a little easier to use. So I'm interested to know how pigmented they are because I usually use the Wilton ones. Um, I also got a fondant roller. Again, I'm pretty sure I bought one of these at some point, but I have no idea where it is. And then, because you can't just roll out a pumpkin, you have to paint on it to make it look really real. I bought some, um, little paint brushes specifically just for using on fondant or on icing i mean you could probably buy any type of um brushes although these do say they're food safe so yes so i picked up those bits from hobbycraft as well just said i used normally use wilton colors that is a lie it just opened it and it's not wilton i did have some wilton ones but their best before dates are much shorter so i had to throw my wilton ones away these ones are sugar flare um, and I think I got these on eBay um, because I don't know anywhere else you can get these in the UK, but they are fantastic colours. Like, look how bright they are. They're amazing, but it means you have to sort of scoop the colour out of the pots. So I thought it would be cool to try um, some different ones.